Hey class, Mr. Tim here. Today we're going to read The Drippy Dinner Drippers. This was written by Joy Crowley. I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited for this book. It looks like it's going to be silly. The Dippy Dinner Drippers. The Drippy family were messy eaters. They dropped their food and dripped their drink at every meal. In the morning, it was cornflakes and marmalade and milk. Slip and drip, slop and drop. Ooh, these guys are messy. At midday, it was soup and bread and melon. Slip and drip, slop and drop. At night, it was spaghetti and salad and custard. Slip and drip, slop and drop. Their clothes, <laughs> their clothes looked like weird and wonderful works of art. One day, a hungry goat followed them home. What do you guys think the goat's going to do? Let's find out. At night, it came in the window and ate their clothes. Our clothes have gone, cried Mr. Drippy. What will we wear? cried Mrs. Drippy. We will have to buy some new clothes, said little Drippy. And so the Drippy family went shopping. They liked their new clothes so much that they decided to wear them to the circus. Do you guys think that they're going to keep their clothes nice and clean or dirty again? Thumbs up for clean. Thumbs down if they're going to be dirty. While they watched the monkeys, they had ice cream and chocolate and raspberry drink. <gasps> Slip and drip, slop and drop. Ah, they made their clothes dirty. Then they had peanuts and popcorn and hot dogs. Slip and drip, slop and drop. And a hungry monkey followed them home. If you guys could write one more page in this book, what would you have the monkey do? Would you have the monkey eat their clothes like the goat did? Or would you have the monkey find new food in their refrigerator? Let me know in the Google Classroom comments what you guys think might happen next in this book. But anyways, my suggestion is don't eat like the drippy dinner drippers. They are messy and a little bit rude. You guys have a great day.